Hey guys, I'm Shark from Team Burst again, and um, I'm not gonna do a video this time because I feel like it's kind of weird, and also I feel like I really want to do the skill prediction because we have a lot of new new thing, new information we're getting uh, for the gear stuff with the Chrono Fang, with the gear promo, which I'm gonna talk about in this video, and yeah, it's just overall pretty cool. So. Um, so today I'm gonna be uh, presenting my take on skill on all the cards I think the skill would be. And yeah, hope you guys like it. And see you guys in the next scene. So, just before I go into the Chrono Fang skill that I predicted, Chrono Tiger Rebellion skill I predicted, and Nani, which is the main grade 2 of Chrono Fang. So. Before that, I'm going to tell you guys that this skill has been changed a bit because uh, of the newly review promo. Um, I was thinking of making like, you know, they said that the more card you play, the more Chrono Fan gets stronger. I was thinking to instead put like, you know, uh, for if you bind three or more this turn from hand, you get this, which I think was okay. Until they review the promo where if you have three or less cards in your hand, uh, you can s count up Soul Blast one and get 10k. So, yeah. <laughs> so I changed the skill a bit. And also, Chrono Rebellion and a bit of Chrono Fang. Uh, Raven helped me with it. Actually, a lot of Chrono Fang. Raven helped me with it. Uh, the one that I just think of alone is Nani. So, yeah. Let's get started. So first of all, we have the Grade Three Chrono Fang skill prediction that I made. So, from what I think Chrono Fang will have, uh, will have two skill, and the first skill would be this card, the same number of cards in your hand, uh, equal to number Grade Three. So e the same skill as um, Lost Legend, Rider Grade Four as Stan, and if you discard two more card, you can bind a card from your drop zone, any card from your drop zone. So this will lead to the more card you play. The more card you gain. Uh, Raven is the one who suggests this to me. So, copped him. At the end of this turn, you retire the grade 4. Then you ride a grade 3 from Soa. The rest, you get an extra force. The same thing. The thing I've been considering is the discard card. Uh, the same number to grade 3. I was thinking of maybe changing to bind. But that might be a bit too much. Because... We don't want uh, Mystery Flare to go on first grade 3 ride. I say Mystery Flare on second grade 3 ride is fair game. I think it's okay enough. And in Vanguard right now, we can finish turn on grade, second grade 2 grade 3 ride very easily. So I think that's fair game. But on first, might be a bit too much. So I will see about that. Maybe it's going to be fun. But this is just a skill prediction after all. So uh, not too much. Uh, the second skill that I think it will have for Road Upon is when it Road Upon, you can counter last one, buy a card from your hand, draw a card, and if your van opponent Vanguard is a grade 3, then the card you bind will get grade plus 3 until the end of the turn. I think this will really help. I think that's actually a pretty good skill because either way you get a future, and if your opponent is a grade 3, so uh, you go either you go on your second grade 3 right or you go second. Uh, I don't, you're going to get more plus to the grade, which help you more. Which help you get back to the feet for, to get, uh, achieve more skill. Which I think is pretty good. Raven is the one who made this, so, propped him. But yeah, uh, let's go to the grade 4 Tiger Rebellion. So, Chrono Tiger Rebellion is, skill will be win place, activate all effect, uh, equal to number of grade in the bind zone. So basically the same as. Uh, idealized and mystery flare. So if they are five or more grade, this unit con uh, get a continuous ability where all unit in your fun row get 5k for every five grade in the band. So I think this is fine, giving more pressure onto the top row. Kind of like mystery flare, but to be honest, a bit lighter because if I would have got 13 grade, it's just a 10 grade to the fun row with mystery flare give 10k to every unit. But this is also a continuous skill. So if we do have any um, multi-attack, this was stack on, so yeah, I think this is a decent skill I have, and of course, to follow the trend, we gone from 5 to 9, because if you notice, idealized from, from 1 to 5, mystery from 3 to 7, 
So it's always up by 4. So, And then the second one is always up by 6. So I'm following the trend. So 9 or more grade. This unit gap has 1 drive check plus 1 crit. Uh, this is following what the uh, old Chrono Tiger Rebellion used to do. Um, and yeah, just getting a drive and a crit. It just, it's... It's kind of like a weaker mystery flare, but in the same time stronger because you have that 5k buff. Uh, but yeah, mystery flare get basically the same thing on seven grade. So I don't think it's too good. I don't think it's too OP. And the plus one drive is just to make up for the how many cards you discard for the one. So I think it's fair. Fifteen or more grade at the end of your turn. Instead of retiring this unit, you bind this unit. This is Raven idea. My first thought was to make it like a guard restricted attack because I already put the power boost or to make it, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> so Raven suggested to me that maybe instead of retiring it, you can bind it so you can increase your bind zone. I think this is perfect because if you manage to hit your 15 grade on your first ride, which with the card I'm showing you, we could probably do it. Um, uh, instead of retiring this unit, you can bind this unit instead, which would be great because if you have 15 grade, you bind this. You have exactly 19 grade for your next kill turn with Mystery Flare. Because my thought right now is Rebellion is going to be like the first ride before you finish your opponent off with Mystery Flare. I think like the new support is going to help you bind a lot, bind a lot enough, and make. Rebellion like the so core to set up your bind zone in the first one and at least have uh to set up your bind zone while giving you resources like drive track plus crit plus power and enough pressure for your opponent to at least lose something and then finish them off with mystery flare extra turn bump bump power so yeah I think that's how gear chronicle will I hope gear chronicle become of course around tier two or up. So I think that's the way that they're probably going to do it. And if they do it like this, I would appreciate it. Because I do like if they do kind of like something like this. So last but not least, I'm going to show Nani, which I'm going to talk in a second. So the last one is Nani. This one, it was just take inspiration from the old skill, basically. But improve it, basically. <laughs> um, the second skill, I will talk about it a bit more, but let's talk about the first skill first. When you attack on on Vanguard or Rearguard, this unit gets 2k for every grade in the bind zone. I do think this might be a bit much, but considering we have something known as Skull Dragon, I think this is fine, <laughs> to be honest. And it's not even multi-attack where I'm going to talk. Its skill in the second one is Act on the Vanguard, it have a Chrono in the card name, Soul Blast one, and buy a card from your hand and call this card to Rearguard. So it's a fair game, Soul Blast is not much of a steep cost in gear. Um, the reason I put Chrono and not Chrono Tiger is because uh, the Grade 3 is named Chrono Fang Tiger and the Grade 4 is named Chrono Tiger. So, mm. so I can't even put that, so I just put Chrono. And if we do get Chrono Jet in the future, which I hope we do, then this also works. But this is a prediction skill, so yeah. <laughs> Um, the reason I didn't make the second skill a multi-attack is just because we are Force Clan. And even though I know a lot of Force Clan have multi-attack like uh, Mordred, um, uh, the Great Overlord, um, I do know uh, Dimension Police. But if you want, then I could also do that instead of like maybe auto... Uh, you can Soul Blast 1, bind a card from hand, and call this card to rear guard at the end battle with Chrono Fang attack. Maybe that could work. But I don't know. For right now, I'll just put it here. So yeah, hope you guys like my custom prediction card. Uh, please leave your opinion down below. I want to know what you guys think. Maybe you guys came up with a better skill. But for now, I'm happy with these. If um, the skill are actually these, I'm, I'm going to be happy. Uh, maybe the first grade 3 kind of things, the discarding, maybe binding, but that might be a bit too much. I'm not sure yet. I didn't test with this. I just look at them, uh, think of them, how it could interact, and then talk it over with Raven because we did have a card fight today. And I'm probably going to be posting like the card fight 
um, sooner or later. Since I'm going back to Thailand, I can't really do a video by myself. I don't really have time. So that's why I'm recording for next week's video. So I can't do the Discord advertisement. I'll do it soon, but I don't know when. Maybe I'll do it like when I get more subscribers. Because right now it's pretty low. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me your thought on maybe you have a lot better more than me, which you probably do. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember, keep playing. Oh,